guys, Courtney Mermaid here and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we're going to talk about five ways that you can live life so mermaid when you can't actually swim in your mermaid tail. Now I know I've done a video like this before, this is going to be a little bit different. This is going to be more of the long term can't wear a mermaid tail at the pool. So say for example you want to be a mermaid, but how can you be a mermaid is this the big question. How can you be a mermaid if you can't go swing in your mermaid tail. And I get asked this a lot. You all want to know what to do when your pool won't let you swim in your tail. Are you still a mermaid if you can't swim in a mermaid tail? And the list goes on. So I came up with a couple of different ideas just off the top of my head. Five different ways that you could still do the whole mermaid thing without actually really ever being in your mermaid tail. Let's get started. So tip number one is going to be a pretty obvious one. It's going to be to adopt a more mermaid aesthetic. When I say aesthetic, I'm talking, you know, your apparel, your choice of accessories, how you decorate your bedroom, <laughs> things like this. Apartment decor, how you decorate your bathroom, obviously that falls under apartment decor, duh. But what you wear, so for example, it is, well you can't see my window, but if you could, you would see that the tree is like, <sighs> So I'm not at the beach, I'm not enjoying time in my mermaid tail out in the sun. So how am I, what am I doing? Well, I'm right now, shameless self-promotion, I warn you, um, I'm rocking a pair of my mermaid leggings. So totally just like a quick segue into something else super fast. I have this amazing tarot deck. I had thought of this concept, you know, it's why I wear mermaid leggings. But in this deck, and I'm gonna leave a link up in the cards, hopefully I remember, but the mermaids on some of the imagery, when they come on land, they keep scales on their legs, which is crazy and super cool. <laughs> so mermaid leggings and again, shameless self-promotion. I do have a sale going on in my shop right now until the end of October, 20% uh, off using the code moving because we are in fact moving. This may very well be one of the last videos you see of me uh, in this setup right here. Link will be down in the description box down below. Be sure to check it out. Grab yourself a slick pair of mermaid leggings. Okay, so thing the second, you could support a local cause. Maybe you're a mermaid like me and you don't go for the whole cetaceans in captivity thing. I used to participate in protests around the city for that, which I found um, for myself very fulfilling and very useful. Because you could participate in beach cleanups. Even just neighborhood cleanups will make a huge difference because all of that just ends up in the ocean eventually anyway. Is, am I right? So the third thing that you could do to live your life so mermaid when you're not in your mermaid tail is to adopt a more mermaid lifestyle. Now this one kind of goes hand in hand with the first two of course and it's going to be different for everyone. For me it's going to be taking care of myself for starters. Tail or no tail I'm still swimming a lot right so I do eat a bit differently to power that. I am also a certified nutrition and health coach which I'll get to in just a second. That's going to be point number five. Let's stick to point number four for a a sec. Editing Courtney here for just a hot second. I just noticed I've been through this twice and I couldn't figure out where I jumped from three to four to five. This will make sense as you go you're gonna notice that I'm referring to the points that I'm making now as point four when in fact it's point three and I don't discover this until after point five and then we jump back. So just if you can bear with me, the points that I'm making are still very valid. I am just a bit kebobbled. So I'm gonna let regular Courtney take it from here, but I appreciate your patience and hopefully I don't have to pop in again later. Okay. Nothing says that you can't be a mermaid, still hit the pool, tail or no tail, and still have that, like mermaids gotta swim, you know what I'm saying? Um, going for walks by the beach, spending time in nature, in your chosen environment, even without a tail. Have your kind of aesthetic going, get your vibe going, maybe you're supporting a cause while you're out in nature, that kind of thing. So living a more mermaid lifestyle, drinking lots of water, getting your health to a, a good place, and how you feel, you know, because being a mermaid, also means you want to feel good, right? You don't want to be worrying about, you know, your anxiety is really high. It's going to be about taking care of yourself, right? In my mind anyways. Number five, educate yourself. So I do this professionally. I found a way to make mermaiding kind of my job. It's my life. It's pretty much every aspect of what I do existing on this planet is somehow mermaid related. Just right there. If you're interested in making mermaiding a bigger part of what you're up to, you know, there's courses you could take online. It could be things like I said, how I'm a certified nutrition and health coach. I decided that that was going to be part of what would make my life so mermaid, right? I don't ever really feel particularly healthy. I'm very often so overwhelmed with anxiety and depression, eating issues <laughs> that I don't ever really feel 
quite there. You know, I, I know that I'm not the only person out there like that, which is where I sort of thought that if I took a course and I went and got, you know, certification, I could help myself and in turn help other people to feel the full mermaid, you know, experience. That's where I came from with that. You know, there are other things you could do if you're somebody who's really interested in artwork and you really wanna focus on the mermaid side of artwork. You know, you could take some life drawing classes, environmental studies, you could do some research, you could go on boat tours. There's a lot of different ways beyond just the splish splash at the pool. I mean, that's the fun part. I know everybody wants to be the mermaid with the with the biggest fluke, doing their thing, enjoying life as mermaid as it gets. But in reality, if you're like me, and if you're watching this, I mean, let's face it, you probably are a bit like me. You want to do this as the full sort of meal deal, the full mermaid experience. You know, instead of it just being topical where you put on the tail, you put on the top, maybe you got the wig and the crown and the jewelry and the whole thing, but maybe inside you don't feel, you don't feel it yet, but you look it but you don't feel it. So for me, I want to feel it. I want to feel that So Mermaid vibe. When I'm rocking my tail, when I'm not rocking my tail, I still want to have that same magic and that same feeling and that same kind of, you know? So those are my five kind of tips for you guys. So we had adopting a more mermaid aesthetic, supporting a cause, you know, related to the ocean, um, living a more mermaid lifestyle, Really? Did you forget what they were? Did I miss one? I think I missed one. Let's, let's refer, shall we? Okay guys, I reviewed my notes. I think I may have missed one. Who was keeping track? Comment below if I just totally got looped. I, I, I think I got to four, but four was actually five and four I forgot. So we're just gonna, we're gonna rein the seahorses in. We're gonna, we're gonna just fly back. <laughs> and I'm gonna figure this out. But thing four was aquatic activities, not necessarily mermaid specific. So depending on the time of year, obviously I'm not at the beach in this weather, but you could be doing things like surfing. You could be doing things um, like swimming without a mermaid tail, spending time just in the water. Maybe you want to do an aquafit class or maybe you want to do just walking in the water. I, I'm using these as examples because again i'm saying from a more long-term um point of view in 2016 when i had my car accident i wasn't allowed period full stop no mermaid tails it would have really messed up my neck and my back based on the injury that i had so i spent a lot of time walking back and forth in water now was it the most miraculous thing ever no but i was still in the water and that counts for me okay you could do paddle boarding you could go kayaking you could spend time on a boat if you've got access to a boat or somebody who's got a boat but it is still possible to have that mermaid feeling that like i spent time in the water i am so mermaid i am doing the best that i can do and here's what it is that was four and then five we already talked about <laughs> I'm a bad mermaid. I am such like, you have to know, my notes are literally, are literally a video I took while I was walking the dog because I thought of all of this while I was out walking the dog, not feeling particularly mermaidy and then realizing that I was rocking some bright purple mermaid leggings, feeling fabulous. Before we get any further in the video, I had some questions from you guys specifically pertaining to this topic and I'm gonna answer them. So that was over on Instagram. Let's scope it out. Now, if you're not following me on Instagram, you totally should be because I post all of the really good mermaid related photos and good stuff over there. Plus you get to, you get to watch me ramble and have funny moments like when the ghosts were haunting my apartment that day. That was good. We're gonna keep these specifically on topic as best as we can. Okay, uh, who is Cheyenne anyway? No, Cheyenne anyway. I apologize in advance. This is gonna be, this is me. We know me here, okay. Is there a way to mix work life and mermaid life? I work retail, but still wanna feel so mermaid. Now you work retail, so it's gonna depend on what kind of retail we're talking about. I'm gonna assume that maybe it's a place where you're not able to, you know, rock the crazy mermaid kind of vibes. If I were you, I would look at subtle things. You know, if you do have pierced ears, maybe don't go for something quite like, I love my earrings though. Starsha, if you're watching, 
Mm. but go for something a little bit more subtle. You know, she actually does have a lot of other jewelry on her uh, shop. So little plug to my buddy at the Slug and Kraken. You should check her out. I will link her down below. She makes all of the mermaid jewelry, uh, my main sort of pieces that I wear, my earrings and such like that. So she does have some pieces that are a little bit less like kapow, which you could probably create a nice subtle look. Maybe a subtle little seashell in your hair, starfish earrings, a little extra sparkle, biodegradable glitter, maybe a little something subtle. I would also recommend working it into your day-to-day -day life in the ways that I mentioned earlier, your day-to-day -day routine, you know? Okay, next question. So Widget the Mermaid, I'm Widget, says, how do you handle the urge to swim when you just financially can't go? So if I can't swim, I start to get a little bit like this. I get a little bit loopy. And I haven't been to the pool since August and it's October. So you can imagine Cordy's going a little stir crazy, a little bit. Best thing that you can do is exercise on the spot anything that you can do with your own body weight. So if you can do uh, a yoga flow, if you've got weights or even a heavy textbook that you could use, um, finding different exercises that you can do at home and then finish off with a bath or a nice shower. You know, make your baths a little bit more luxurious if you can. Uh, and I'm not talking like going to Lush and spending hundreds of dollars. Little things like you could mix a little bit of essential oil with some Epsom salts because it's a carrier. So and then and then have a nice have a nice relaxing bath. You know, light a couple of candles. A little bit of meditation goes a long way. And keeping some if you can get some ocean sounds. Okay, I know that sounds crazy, but when I'm in the tub, I will throw on some like ocean music or just water like bubbles sounds in the background. If you've got a laptop and access to YouTube, there are a lot of people who do like ASMR stuff like that that's really nice and relaxing. But otherwise, it's just about keeping yourself tired. And I know that sounds kind of counterintuitive because if you're like me, you're like, I am always tired. But there's a difference between being like emotionally tired and like physically tired. I hope that helps like a tiny bit. <laughs> and we're gonna swim soon, fishy. It's gonna be okay. Okay, then the mermaid seamstress uh, asked, what would be your thoughts on mermaid tail prosthetic? Like if she somehow lost her legs. So so I think for that, there is actually a mermaid out there. Um, now her name, unfortunately, I haven't got off the top of my head. A company had made her a prosthetic mermaid tail that actually was functional that she could swim with that allowed her to continue to spend time in the water, which I thought was absolutely amazing. So I don't see why that wouldn't be an option as well. Obviously safety first with anything that we do in the water. Um, it's really important to make sure that we're sort of observing those. <laughs> I know I sound like such a mermaid mom when I talk about this, but it's just so, so, so important to be safe. But I would say that anything is possible and there are no limitations. Like, for example, there was this uh, YouTuber who she's got like, I don't know, like between one and three million subscribers, something wild. And somebody had shared her with me on the, the Patreon Discord. And I'm wishing I could remember her name offhand now. It'd probably be great if I could. But she's blind and there was a company that basically told her like, no, this is gonna be too difficult. You're not gonna be able to do this. Then FinFun came to the rescue and was like, uh, no, no, you can totes do this and we're gonna teach you and show you how and it's all gonna be cool. And uh, for me, I was like, yes! You know what I mean? There is no can't. There's just a different way of doing something. Do you know what I mean? There's, there, that was the whole point of today's video was how you can still do something even if you can't do it. Do you know what I mean? Because that's not what it's about. There's always a way. There's always a way. And sometimes it's just about attacking it from a different angle, you know, getting creative, having those 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 ideas and those concepts that are beyond what the the stereotypical thing might be. So on that note, that is the last of the questions that's kind of really relevant to here. I appreciate everybody else that left me uh, questions, but I wanted to keep it super to the point. If you guys want to get the discussion going down in the comments section down below, let's share some other ideas. Um, if you can think of anything that I didn't include or something specifically that you yourself are doing to live life so mermaid, even if you can't do the whole swimmy swimmy, in your tail, filmy filmy, at the pool, doing the thing. Um, yeah, like let's just get the conversation going so that when other people come and find this video that they'll be able to see your comments and get even more ideas for how they can do it because mermaid should be for everybody, not just for the people with mermaid tails. I know maybe that sounds like a wild concept, but I feel like that's just the truth and my truth and what I want to share with you guys. All that being said, this is hopefully my last video. Here we get our keys. Hopefully tomorrow. Wow, that was a loud knock. Is there anything actually in here? I don't know. Yeah. 
say goodbye to all of this. I mean, Bruce is still coming with it. Anybody else notice that Bruce got, um, I fixed Bruce. Did you notice? Bruce has been brushed and restuffed. So I stuffed Bruce with more, more stuffing. So Bruce, if you don't want to say goodbye just yet, you want to swim on over to the Patreon pod. We've got lots going on. November is going to be all about getting things back on track and back and rolling with a whole new setup. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you all again in my next video. Happy swimming my fishes. Bye.